Hey, I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips on how to use the uh, debris generator plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is load the plugin, GTools, debris generator. All right. And um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the importance of uh, where the pivot's located on the prop. So let's select the stump here, or uh, prop, we'll select the stump. And I'm just going to show you a different view. Here is the front cam, and if we take a look at the stump, you can see the pivot is located at the base. We'll go to the top here. It's centered, and uh, the X and Y are at the zero location. So why that's important is, uh, let's go back here to the camera. Okay, so let's say we're going to scatter uh, 10 copies of this. And um, let's change this down to 500 and 500. So that's going to scatter 10 copies within a 500 by 500 um, grid here. And then if we don't change any of the rotation, they'll all be in exactly that same position. Because the stump, we want it to stay upright. We only want it to rotate around the Z axis. Okay, so let's put uh, 180 in there so it can go anywhere it wants. And we'll scale it up, uh, I don't know, 0.25, say. And we'll do a uniform scale. That means X, Y, Z all scale up the same. And uh, we'll say generate. Okay, so it quickly generated uh, 10 stumps, uh, shifted them around in a random way around the z-axis, and then uh, placed them around the scene. All right, let's get rid of those stumps for now. I'm going to do a shift select on all the copies, hit delete. So let's take a look at uh, something else here, the, uh, the branch or stick. Um, again, we'll look at the different views from the front. Whoops, that's in the way. We'll hide the stump so you can see it. Um, the branch, the axis is uh, in the middle again. We'll take a look at the top. And it's kind of centered in, along the length, right? So if we take the stick or the branch and we make 10 copies we'll just change this to a uh, branch and if we make 10 copies now we just leave everything the same way uh, zx is 180 uniform scale um, and generate you'll see that all the sticks basically lay on top of the ground which is what you would expect if you just dropped a bunch of sticks on the ground. So now let's go back. Again, we'll delete the copies. We'll pick the branch. We're going to make 10 copies of the stick or branch again. Only this time, let's vary all three axes. And now what you'll get is some of the sticks will be sticking up out of the ground. Well, let's see what we get here. Okay, yeah. So you can see some of the sticks are um, sticking up out of the ground. Some are laying on the ground. So you can get different effects by varying the, uh, the rotation um, axes. And also uh, depend on where the pivot is in the object. So let's uh, go ahead and delete those branches. And now I'm going to pick this folder. And um, so if we just went back to zero here uh, on the X and Y and just rotate it around the Z, generated. Again, the stones are just laying on top of the dirt, which doesn't look as natural for a stone, right? So 
you want, what you want to do there is um, go ahead and vary the uh, the x, y, and z. And you know what? Let's bump the scale up uh, to point five. And um, so now what this will do is because it's rotating the stone around. Um, some parts of the stone will be like embedded in the in the dirt. So let's generate that and see what it looks like. And see that's a much more natural. You can see the sun's kind of peeking up out of the dirt in some of these places, some of the places it's on top of the dirt. Um, so that gives you a much uh, more natural distribution. Now I had the uh, I had the move axis down to only 500 and 500. So um, you can increase the spread, obviously, and get uh, a distribution farther across your scene. But it, it, it bases around where the original was located, so uh, we might have to slide this window down a little bit to see how oh, there's some off the screen there. All righty, so that's, uh, that's what I wanted to show you there. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the second part of the tutorial, and that is um, working with physics. Okay, so I loaded in a terrain, and this is uh, the Butte terrain here. So I want to do a couple of things to set this up. Number one is before you duplicate the props, you want to enable physics, and that's so that when it makes the clone, all the clones have physics, and you don't have to go around and select each one and enable it by itself. Then you need to go to the terrain uh, and also enable physics. It's kind of weird. It's under materials, but uh, here it is, enable terrain physics. So we'll click on that. All right, and then uh, I set this up to make 20 copies um, of the boulder, which is right there. Um, we're going to spread it. A thousand in the X and Y, and I'm going to raise it up 300 in the Z, and I'm going to click on Use Fix Offset. So what that's going to do is it's going to put all the copies at a height of 300 units above the the, the ground, basically. I'm going to leave rotation at 180 for all three axes. I increase the scale so I get uh, a lot of different sizes, and then uh, we're going to generate. Okay, so it's made uh, 20 copies, and there they are, kind of hanging in space. You say, well, why did you put them at 300 um, Z height? And I'll show you. So when you press play, uh, now that the physics are enabled, the rocks have gravity applied. They're going to drop down onto the train. They're going to hit the terrain and, and bounce into a natural position. So let's take a look. Okay, so the rocks look like they are made out of styrofoam or something. They kind of slid all over the place. But you can adjust the uh, the physics property of the stone to have more mass or more friction, and they'll uh, they won't slide around so much. But that's the idea: is uh, you raise it up to a certain height with the Z uh, fixed offset, and then when you hit play, uh, it drops down according to physics and and bounces into a, a natural position. All right, so that's uh, what I really wanted to show you today. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the plug. Thanks.